First of all, can I ask you your name and your position? Uh, Marlon Diard, uh, wing. And uh, what nickname do your teammates know you by? Uh, Marlon Doe. And can you remember what age you were when you were first introduced to a rugby ball? Um, I think I was about 12. Um, played it at my old school and um, it really picked up, I think, when I was like 15, 16. I got introduced to London Irish and uh, yeah, yeah, took it from there really. What was, it, what was the name of your old school? Um, it was Gunnersby Catholic School uh, in Brentford and um, I moved to Wigley School when I was 16. Right. So um, who, who was the first team you played for? London Irish, amateurs. Yeah? Yeah, and uh, 16s, I think. And uh, what rugby team did you support as a boy? Um, to be honest, I didn't really follow rugby. Um, when I was growing up, I was really into football, so um, I guess London Irish is my team. <laughs> That's the team I support. Okay. And uh, what was the first game of rugby you watched live? Um, I think it was the Toulouse uh, London Irish semi final. Um, somebody gave me a ticket to go watch it um, at Twickenham and um, yeah, it was a really good day. And who's been the biggest influence in your career? Uh, many people have influenced me along the way. Uh, you know, coming from John Flynn, um, one of the coaches here, who took me into this club in the first place and then you know, through to like Neil Hatley and you know, Justin Bishop and now you know, Mike Cat and, and Toby Fix etc have all helped me. So um, you know, everyone's helped me along the way, even at school as well. So. I'm pretty grateful to them. Yeah. Who's the uh, the best player you've played with and against? Um, Nick Evans would be up there. Uh, he was really good, influential in uh, London doubleheader in September. Yeah. Um, best player I've played with last year, I think um, Mapasu was really good. It's just really like really flary. Uh, just sees things that other people don't. Uh, I think he'd he'd definitely be up there, but. Yeah. There's so many great players here, it's hard for me just to pick one. Okay. And uh, what's the best thing about playing for London Irish? Um, I think, you know, it's a, very, it's a tight-knit group, um, you know, everyone you know, plays for each other. Uh, we play a really you know, wide, expansive game, which, you know, never to be suits my game. Um, you know, we go for a bit of a tough patch at the moment, but, you know, we believe in ourselves and you know, we really go for it for the last two games of the season. Okay. And can you tell us something about yourself that people wouldn't necessarily know? I did the third highest bungee jump in the world. Uh, I went to New Zealand when I was 16, 17. Yeah. And I, it was the scariest thing I've ever done, but I'd love to do it again. Where uh, perhaps yeah. was that in New Zealand? Uh, Queenstown. Yeah. Uh, it was the Nevis jump. I was uh, probably, that's something probably someone didn't know about me. <laughs> yeah. That's good. OK. And what is it about watching live rugby that you think somebody contemplating going to London Irish's next game would like? Um, I think, you know, it's because of the way we play and we, you know, we regard to you know, entertain people. Um, you know, there's always loads of big hits flying around. You know, it's Premiership Rugby, everyone's going to be up for it. So, you know, th there's always a great atmosphere as well. There's the drums. Um, come on, you're Irish, whatever. <laughs> you know, it really gets people going for it. So, yeah, it's, it's a really nice day. It's a nice day. So, um, yeah.